These are the video notes for section 4.1, Solving Systems of Equations by Graphing. There are three classifications of systems and their, and their solutions. The first one is, if you get an infinite solution, your systems are consistent and dependent. If you have no solution, then it is inconsistent. If you get a coordinate as your solution, then it is consistent and independent. These are the steps into um, how to solve by graphing. The first step is to graph each equation using the slope intercept form to graph or the intercept method. And then if your two graphs intersect at a point, the intersection is a solution. If the two graphs are the same line, there are infinite solutions. And if their two graphs are parallel, there are no solutions. It is recommended that when you're graphing the solutions that use graph paper and a straight edge so that you can find out the um, intersection if there is one and also to see if it's the same line or if it's parallel to each other. So in our first example we have two equations that are in slope intercept form so I'm going to graph the first one. If you recall to graph an equation in slope intercept form you graph the y-intercept first so the y-intercept here is positive 7 so I'm going to graph positive 7 going up 7 spots from the origin. Then we're going to use the slope. The slope in this example is negative 3 over 1 so I'm going to go down three, one, two, three, and over one spot. So this would be the equation of the line, right there. Then we're going to graph the second equation. The y-intercept is negative four, so we go down four spots. Then the slope is two over three, so I'm going to go up two and over three. Graph that. Since the two graphs intersect at that point, 3, negative 2 is the solution to the system of equation that we had in the beginning. So 3, negative 2 is your solution. In our next example, this one is in standard form, so what I'm going to do is solve it for y so that I can graph it in slope intercept form. So when I subtract 3x from both sides, I get 5y equals negative 3x plus 8, then divide everything by 5. So y is equal to negative 3 fifths x plus 1 and 3 fifths. So now I'm going to graph my two equations. The first one, the slope intercept, is 10. So up 10 from the origin. Then down 2 and over 1, which is about there. So that would be the equation of the first one. Then the second one, the y-intercept is about 1.6, which is about there. Then we're going to go down 3 from there, so 1, 1, 2, 3, and over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is right here. Then we're going to draw the line here. Again, using a straight edge would be very wise. Um, and then the intersection is this point right here, which is 6, negative 2. Again, you'll be able to see it easier when you use a straight edge and also graph paper so that you can see that 6, negative 2 is the solution for the system of equations that we have. So in our next system of equations, what we're going to do is solve for y. So we can graph it in y equals mx plus b form. So the first one will become y is equal to 3x plus 4. In the second one, you will get y is equal to 3x plus 1. So we're going to graph both of them. The first one, the y-intercept is 4, which is right here. Then we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Our next one, the y-intercept is 1, so we're going to graph the 1, and then we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1, which is right here. So we're going to graph that as well. For this particular um, system of equations, these lines are parallel, so they will never intersect, so there is no solution for this one. Again, when you use a straight edge and graph paper, you will see more clearly that these lines are in fact parallel that they do not intersect with one another. In our next example, I'm going to graph the first one using slope-intercept form, and then some of you may like to use the intercepts to graph, so I'll show you that 
um, with this second equation. So the first one, this y-intercept is 2, so we plot 2. We go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, so it's right here. Then to graph the intercepts, we let x equal 0 and find out what y is, and then the second part is let y equal 0 and find out what x is. So for the first one, we're going to substitute 0 and then solve, and then we're going to substitute for the y for 0 and then solve. So this one would be 2y is equal to 4, divide both sides by 2, y is equal to 2. So when x is 0, y is equal to 2. So we can graph that. That is actually the same point here. And then for this one, negative 6x equals 4. Divide both sides by negative 6. x is equal to negative 2 thirds. So negative 2 thirds is the, when x is, when y is 0, x is negative 2 thirds. So that would be right here. And if you know, I'm not even going to draw it again because it is the same line as before. So since both lines are touching each other, this one would be infinite solution.